Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. Today we're looking at the problem post order traversal of a binary tree. And I just wrote out um, what the order of that traversal is. So for this traversal, we need to consider the left node first and then the right node, and then finally uh, the node that we're on. So let's take an example here and see how we're getting um, the result of a post-order traversal from a tree like this. I'm going to solve this problem recursively first just because it's easier. Um, so I will navigate through this tree, uh, starting from the root here at three. Um, so first of all, we need to follow this order in the recursion. So we need to say, okay, go to the left, and then we are at three's left here, which is nine. And then again, we go to the left, and we are in a situation where there are no more um, nodes. So we can say that, okay, so for our base case, if the node we are on is none, then we can return, because there is nothing else to do here. So we are going to return to our caller here 9, but we're still not done yet. We're only done the first navigation, which is the left. So we still have to go to the right here. And then again, we hit the base case here because there is no more node. So then we are going to return up here to the 9, and that's how, that's when we will print the value. So this is how we're getting this value here in the res. So in the recursion, we need to first go to the left. And then we're going to go to the right. And then lastly, we will have a res list here that we're going to populate. So we are going to finally, after we've navigated all the left and all the right, then only we are going to add this value to our res. So we will add this value. Um, so we can say res.append. And we will put in our um, nodes value that we're currently on node.val. So let's iterate through the rest of the tree to see how we're getting this answer. So here um, we are finally done with nine. So we went left, right, and then node. And then now we're back at three. But this is not when we're going to print three because we're not done the second step of this, which is to go to the right. So here I am now going to navigate the right side of three. So I'm here at 20. And at 20, I'm going to again navigate to the left side because the left side is the priority. This is the number one step. So I'm going to go to 15 here. And then at 15, again, I'm going to explore the left here. So here we hit our base case none. So we return and then we try to go to 15's right. Again, we return and then we get our um, third, we get to our third step, which is the node's actual value. So this is when we add, this is when we are adding this to our res. So similarly, now we're back at 20. And then um, from 20, we're going to explore the right side of 20. So we're here at seven. And then again, we're going to go to seven's left, which is none. So return seven's right, which is none. So return. And then finally, we're going to print seven. That's how we get the seven here in this order. Um, and then back to 20. So now we have processed 20's left. So all of this and then all of this. So we're done here. And the one thing that's left to do is res.append node.value. So we are going to append 20 to our res, and that's how we get this 20. And lastly, we're up here to this root, and we are going to get this node's value finally and print it here. So this is how we're getting the three. Awesome. So I'm back in the code, and what I've done here is created this variable that will um, return. So this is the res variable. And what I'm going to do is start writing out um, the recursive DSF function that uh, will give us our um, post order traversal. So I will say I'll call this function um, post order DFS. And this will take in a node. And I'm going to write out my base case. So if node is none, then it's going to return. 
Else, what we want is we want to navigate all the way to that node's um, left first because this is the order left, right, and the node. So we will go to we will call this post order DFS, and then we will send it the node dot left, and then after that we will do the same thing. But we are going to send the right side of that node. So we'll say node dot right and then finally we are going to add to our res so we will say res dot append and we will put in that node's value so node dot val and lastly we are going to return res and let me initialize this function so so I will call this function with the initial parameter of the root because we are navigating traversing from the root so I will say post order DFS and then yeah root here okay this looks okay to me let me give this a run and see if the res is rendering properly oh I need to say def here okay Okay, awesome, accepted. 